hello guys nitin here and uh, this is the uh, part 4 of our video and in this video we will uh, we will finalize our in this industrial warehouse so we will finalize uh, design of this warehouse so we will go for the post processing process so uh, i am going to the analysis part so i am going for the run analysis so if, if we will see that if it is pass or not okay so we will check the ratio also so we will go, after that we will go for the post processing process so there we will see the bending moment and the deflection part of uh, this uh, this warehouse so it is analyzing the structure so it is taking a little bit of time <clears throat> so go to the post processing mode and done so here uh, first we will see the uh, the ratio so show diagram based on the actual ratio okay so we will check the actual ratio this is the uh, demand capacity ratio okay so, so as you can see uh, so these columns are passed so these columns are passed so the ratio should be less than one okay so these columns are passed and these rafters are failing as you can see rafters are failing okay <clears throat> so we will again go to the modeling mode and we will change the properties so i will increase this chapter section size so I am going for uh, thickness of web. So thickness of web I am taking seven mm. So I will change. I will change this uh, depth of section at end or end node. So I am taking it eight. Okay. So here I am taking zero point double five. Okay. So change. Yes. It has been changed, so now we will change the rafter size also. So go to the depth of section at start node. So here I am taking 6.7 and the web thickness I am taking uh, 0 0.0008 and depth of section at end node I am taking 0 0.5. Okay, 5. Okay, so here thickness of uh, top line I am taking 10 mm. And here also changed. So in this here we also have to change this after this type of sections also. So here we will take a zero point five and seven. Here that was eight mm, and here zero point zero one here also 0 0.01 <coughs> okay so changed so we don't mm, the five sections was passing okay so we have to change this angle sections also so we should go for it is f60 by 60 by 10 okay so we will go for 80 by 80 by 10 now we will analyze whether we see it is pass or not <clears throat> so it is taking a little bit of time mm. the process of the designing part is so lengthy so it will take a little bit of time okay so then when we go for the go to the post processing mode and again they go to the diagram and show the actual ratio here it is uh, again it is not possible so i will have to change the size Okay, again we will have to change the size. So 
go to the modeling mode and general so here the column are also not passing so here i go for um, 0 0.06 okay 0 0.6 okay so here um, so i go for the width of the flange top lens is 0 0.3 here also 0 0.3 changed now go for the rafters so here rafters so depth of the section at start node i am taking um, i am changing the thickness of the web okay so i am taking 0 0.1 here thickness of uh, width of the top lenses i am taking 0 0.3 here and the thickness of top lenses i am taking 0 0.015 okay here also 0 0.015 and the width of top, top lens I am also taking 0 0.3 that is 300 mm so we have to change here also 0 0.5 0 0.7 so 0 0.01 0 0.3 and 1.5 here 3 and here 1.5 now you will see it is passed or not i hope you guys are also uh, doing this project with me so <clears throat> you can see it is analyzing The stat pro analyze the um, the <coughs> any any um, any design by the matrix method. Okay, so go to the post processing mode and then after that click OK. You can you can select the the load also. Okay, so here from the load type also you can select by which load you want to analyze. So again I go to the diagram option and design result. Now you can see the almost all the member are passing. Okay. You can see. So you can see the reactions also. Reactions you can see when you go for the uh, footing and designing part, you can see you have to take the moment on the moment on the um, mx my nz and uh, okay so you can see the displacement you can check by the scrolling button of uh, press the control key and the scroll the mouse of your button, um, button of your mouse okay but, but you can see the result after that go to the result and here you you will go for the view value okay so you can see beam results <coughs> bending you can see the um, bending on the ends okay so okay so first you have to click on the button over here so mz so you can see the bending moment at the end at the um, maximum bending you can see maximum okay so at the midpoint you can see the bending moment okay so this was uh, our, our designing part of our video so thanks for watching i hope you you guys are enjoying uh, these these stat processes and i think um, you have uh, learned a lot of things from me so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the uh, the like button so thanks for watching thank you